What's good, team? Took another L last night to the Miami Heat with no Jimmy Butler, no Bam. Um, that 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 loss last night was totally was unacceptable. Unacceptable. Um, we came out so good in that first quarter. Hell, Miami did twenty one points in the first quarter, and um. Then midway through the second, it just midway through the second and third quarter, in about eight minutes of the third quarter, we just imploded on the defensive end, on the offensive end. We couldn't stop nobody. We couldn't get no rebounds. We couldn't score the ball, um, which is frustrating because you know we're the number two offense. But I know how to fix that already. And as a Hawks fan, we got to be honest with ourselves. Listen, we are Trey Young dependent on the offensive side of the ball. If he doesn't get it going, um, it's hard for us to get some points on the board, especially when you got bogey. Uh, if he not hot from three, if Gallo not good from three, if um, Herder's not good from three, we just find ways to struggle scoring the ball without Trey Young attacking the basket. Speaking of that, um, I can't remember the last time Trey Young got a foul call when he attacked the basket. It seems like every foul he gets now is just on the floor. So it's like, why attack the basket when they foul it and the refs don't call it? I mean, the officiating has been just horrible. The officiating, officiating last night was downright disgusting. Like, he, Duncan Robinson dribbled the ball, went out of bounds, came back in, got the ball, and the ref sat there and wasn't going to call it. Like, are you blind? Like a rush, they should be fine for for silliness like that. Like they did, he did it right in their face. They wasn't even gonna call it, and it's just amazing to me how these are professional referees. But anyway, let's move on. Um, Duncan Robinson had a good game. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what the problem is, man. The problem is that the team. Uh, one of the problems is we're not focused for 48 minutes. We came out focused for 12 minutes last night. And you saw that in the first quarter when we held Miami to 21 points. But then we lose focus. How do you lose focus? You can see us how we lost focus because I like there was one play where Kevin Hurt, they was doing a uh Tucker had the ball on the wing, I mean in the corner, Herter's man under the goal, and he turns his head. Why? Why do you turn your head away from uh your man and not looking at the ball? Like he did, he, he turned his head, not looking at the person with the ball or his man, and then PJ Tucker just whipped it inside. It's just small stuff like that that you have to learn how to stay focused and locked in for forty eight minutes, and that's what we cannot do at the moment. We can come out, we'll play defense in spurts. It seemed like they only want they only play defense in spurts when we already down fifteen and twenty points. Now they want to play defense. I mean, it's too late at that point. Because you're using so much energy to get back into the game. I'm watching the press conferences. You know, Nate McMillan talking about Miami does a lot of movement. And? And? Come on. This is, this is not a new Miami team. They've been doing the same stuff. We was not prepared. I'm not even going to say we're not prepared. I'm going to say that they put forth no effort to stop it. At all. None. None. They just sit there, let this dude max somebody go off for like eight points in a row. No hard fouls, no nothing. We need to learn. We don't know how to send a message, you know. And I understand that, you know, everybody's an NBA player, man, you know. And the East has gotten a lot better, but you got to send a message. When players go on a personal 8-0 run, foul them. Give me a hard foul. Give me something. Let them know. Hey, we see you, bro. We see you. But we don't. We don't have no goon on it. We got a bunch of. I'm gonna keep it real. We got a bunch of fucking good guys on the team. We got. We we need a dog on the team. We need somebody who refuses to be embarrassed on their home court. And if they going and if they gonna get blown out, they gonna go out with a bang. They gonna get some text. They gonna throw some. They gonna do something. Kick the ball or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm watching uh, John Collins' uh, post-game interview. 
He said the team is not playing together as one. I've said that already. I posted it in multiple groups. We are not playing as one unit. One unit. And you know, obviously, the reporters say, well, John Collins, why? What's the reason? Listen, if he knew the reason, one, he wouldn't tell you. And two, don't you think they would? Tr he would fix it if he knew it? But... You know, what I don't understand is why they can't play together as a unit. I mean, everybody got, everybody's got gotten paid. So you don't need to go out there and play for no individual stats. And at the end of the day, with Trey Young, even though he averaging, I think, what, 25 and, and almost 10 assists, it don't really mean nothing because we're not winning. And that was the knock they had on him uh, two years ago while he didn't win rookie of the year because we wasn't winning games, saying that he just had empty stats. But let's, But listen. They got to play together as a unit. You, you have to be able to play for each other, for the team, for the club, for the logo, for yourself. You got to have some type of pride to where you're like, you know what, you're not going to come in here and disrespect me. Now, don't get me wrong. You're going to get over 82-game season. Yeah, you're going to get blown out a couple times during the year. It happens, especially with the COVID shit, but... You know, we missed Capella dearly last night. And that's where if we had a real backup big, like I requested in the offseason and not a fucking dang, and maybe you don't have John Collins and, and Gallo trying to play down low with that big ass dude from the heat. Hell, I'd rather for Bam to be there. At least John Collins is the same height. But you can't ask John Collins and Gallo try to out rebound this guy. It's not going to happen. And that's where Travis messed up at. We need a backup big who could come in, who could have played last night when Capella couldn't go. Because we got out rebounded. I want to say Madden was like a plus 13. That's Clint Capella right there. And some of them rebounds was crucial when we tried to make a run to get back into the game. But, you know, I know shit. It is what it is, you know. Uh, obviously, Trey Young said he don't know. He's trying. But... I need Trey. I need you more aggressive on the offensive side earlier in the game. You got to feel that game, Trey. You got to feel when you need to take over. And when I say take over, I don't mean shooting logo threes. I mean getting to the bucket. You know, some alley oops, running that high screen, that high pick and roll. You know, getting others in. I need you to get aggressive because at the end of the day, on we go as you go on the offensive side of the ball. Okay. Um. On a positive note, it was good to have uh, Dre Hunter back. Um, refreshing sight. He looked real good out there on the court. Um, can't wait for him to really get into his groove. Hopefully, we can avoid any more knee injuries or any type of injuries with him. Waiting to get Cam Reddish back. So, I mean, let me keep it a buck. We sucking right now, but what keeps me motivated, what keeps me going is that, that playoff run. That playoff run, it wasn't a fluke. I mean, obviously, some sh uh, shit went our way, but at the end of the day, you still got to hold that other team from scoring, and we did that in three series, you know? So, the potential, we we can do it. They just have to want to do it, and I can't, that all-star break can't come quick enough, man. It, and, you know, I was looking, I was hoping to maybe get a Ben Simmons, but you know what? If we had Ben Simmons, we trade for Ben, that ain't changing shit. It ain't changing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a team sport. Everybody got to be clicking at the same time, man, if you want to be a good defensive team. Everybody got to know what the next man is doing. Everybody has to know what the next man is going to do. You know? But it is what it is. We still had a couple defensive lapses. You know, just one point, we had three dudes on one guy. And all he did was pass it out to, I forgot who it was, and he hit the wide open corner three. And I'm like, why three dudes on one guy? Why? What? Y'all are, <laughs> stuff like that blows my mind. Like, bro, you're a pro basketball player. How does that happen? How does stuff like that happen on the defensive side of the ball? Y'all been playing ball your whole life, man. Like, it just tripped me out how, how they do some of this shit. It's just mind blowing, but. Took a L. We got him again tomorrow night. You know, hopefully we can come out and, uh, you know, play with some pride. You know, I'm going to keep it a buck. Last night, they, did, they didn't play with no pride last night. 
They had no sense of urgency, you know, in the third quarter. No sense of urgency. No sense. You build that lead and you can't sustain the lead. Where's the sense of urgency at? You know, and people start talking about Nate McMillan. He just standing there, whoop, 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 whoop. What you want him to do, throw a chair on the court? You want him to throw a chair on the court? That's going to fire the player that they're going to so, they, they gonna automatically play defense because the coach got ejected? Probably not. Probably not. You know, at the end of the day, them dudes on the court need to perform. And we know they can do it. That's, that's why it's so frustrating because we know they can do it. They've shown that they can do it. Why they don't want to do it now? Why they can't play as a team? That's what John Collins said. They got to play as a unit. Why they can't play as a unit? They need to figure that out. I mean, the coach can talk all he want, but they have to figure it out. You can have the best scheme in the world, but if the players are not playing with effort and trying to execute that plan or that scheme, guess what? It don't matter what what the coach say. So, I mean, they need to perform. They need to play with some passion and pride. I need somebody out there to say, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. It's time for us to get this shit in gear. I need to see people. John Collins also said communication. I need people talking on the court. Listen, you can't. You have to have thick skin, okay? You got to have thick skin. You got to trust your, you got to, as we say in the army, you got to trust your battle. So, I mean, if you fuck up and your battle say, hey, bro, you fucked up right there. Hey, do A, B, C, and D. You got to be able to take that criticism because when you can take constructive criticism and you know that a crit that the person is gen genuine, then you see it a different way. You're like, all right, I got you, bro. I got you. So, I mean, it's just like if you go back to the Georgia Alabama game when I can't remember the name, but uh, the linebacker fucked up an assignment and they got on his ass right, right in the game. The other linebacker was getting on his ass like, hey. That's your fucking assignment. You need to be on that. Very next play, dude got a sack. So, you know, you just got to be able to accept that criticism, know it's genuine, and then move on from there. But, you know, it is what it is. Another lo another home loss. Um, Shit, we haven't won in Atlanta since Thanksgiving. That's, that's fucking no-go. That's a no-go at this station. You cannot do that. You cannot be a loser at home and expect to make the playoffs. Point play, it's not going to happen. So we need to right this ship ASAP, okay? I mean, Tyler Hero played with more energy and passion than the whole fucking Atlanta Hawks squad. You can see it on the court. The eyes don't lie, bro. I saw what I saw. That dude was playing with passion. He you know what he played? He played like he had a point to prove. We playing like we been there and done that. No, nah, we, we ain't done shit. We may have done shit as an organization, making it to the conference finals and winning our first couple conference final games, but for other good for good organizations, that's standard data. They do it all the time. So that's what I really think our issue is. We resting on our laurels, and it's gonna come back and bite us in the ass if we don't fix it, man. Don't forget like, comment, subscribe, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's your boy in my four K twenty. Come chop it up with us in New Pet City, man. On the um on, on the Facebook group, come chop it up with us, man. If you know what the issue is, drop it in the comments below. Chop it up with your boy, man. It's your boy in my four K twenty, man. And I'm out, Hawks up.